Hi everybody. At the center of any creative activities these days, there lies a computer, without which our work comes to a halt. And with enough power on rendering, a computer can make the world a better place. And if it is portable with great battery hour, where I don't have to worry about finding a plug point, isn't that what we've been waiting for for years? Welcome to the review of the MacBook Pro 14 inch M1 Pro. And let me tell you why I bought this spec, specific spec. Mind you, this is not a technical review. This is my one week of use and I just love everything about this beast. I've been using a Mac for more than a decade now for all my design related projects and it has never given up on me. The interface is clean and trust me, once you get a hang of it, you'll get hooked to it. In fact, the last Mac I was using was a 2018 MacBook Pro, yes, with the LED touch bar. But there was a problem that Mac used to heat up quite fast on even a small task. 2021, when Apple announced the M1 chip and it got the entire creative world excited about it, but I still held on to my horses because I thought I could wait. The M1 review has been great last year, but this year when Apple announced the launch of M1 Pro and M1 Max, I couldn't hold on to myself and I had to get this beast. My 2018 Mac was dying from heat strokes and this beast of an M1 Pro was calling out for me. And it all went like this. Hey, I'm finally here. I know you've been looking for me. I know you're listening to me. I got the form factor you always wanted, the SD card slot, free Thunderbolt port, a separate HDMI port, and yes, I'm back with the MagSafe cable, and guess what? It's all braided, and there's more. I run on 16 GB RAM, M1 Pro with 8 core CPU and 14 core GPU. All in all, I choose the 14 inch spec because of the portability. The 16 inch would have been a little bit bigger. Since the screen resolution is liquid retina XDR display, I can easily work on a 14 inch screen itself. I hope you understood what I meant. Mostly the screen resolution in other computers are limited to a crappy 1080p where you are forced for more space. It is totally the opposite here. The images can be smaller as the resolution is high enough so we get more real estate. And for the kind of work I do as a creative professional, this machine meets all my needs. I can guarantee you will not find this experience in any other Windows laptop. The superior OS, the trackpad, the battery life, the webcam, the speakers. I've not used any external speakers or headphones for this editing and I've just been using this built-in speakers and trust me, it is the best pair of speakers in any laptop ever. Basically, all I need is a computer with full charge and I can actually work from anywhere. Oh, and by the way, I am a 16 GB guy. The sweet 16 is the best spot for me for ages. And hold on, what I mean to say is I'm talking about the 16 GB RAM. The 16 GB RAM of the Mac is far more superior than compared to that of a 16 GB on a Windows computer. So this has been just the perfect space for me. 32 GB or a 64 GB would be good for me, but that would also come with a cost. And I am a little limited on that. Anything more would be great, but an overkill to my pocket as well. So choose wisely, it is not just about money, but something for your productivity. Investing in this MacBook Pro M1 Pro will be the best thing for 80% of you in the creative domain who are into images and video editing. For those who have light editing work like basic Photoshop, Excel, slideshows and web browsing or Netflix, save some money and get yourself the M1 MacBook Air. And for those creative pros, the 14 inch base model is good enough and this will last you for three to five years without a hassle. And for those who have some extra cash, go for an upgrade on the CPU, GPU or the RAM. By the way, here is a recommendation for a super fast storage space. Get this Samsung SSD 500 GB for any of your computer that you're using currently and it'll really speed up your work. I'm leaving the affiliate link in the description below. Remember, if you buy from that link, I'll get a small percentage out of it without any extra charge to you. This is just one way of showing your support to the channel. And the other way is by subscribing to the channel and sharing it with all your friends. Come on guys, you can do that. So, and if you're interested in more tech and tools for creativity, you can watch this list here. But honestly, you should have one of these M1 Pro Max for sure. This is the deal. You should actually go for it. And with that said, see you in the next one.